Sarah, did you leave the lights on all night? Sarah, wake up. Sarah. Sarah, you have to wake up. Sarah? What do you want? Why are you so irritating with me alone? You asked me to wake you up before I went to bed last night. I only just fell asleep. I'm only doing what you asked me to do. Go away. So do you want to wake up or not? Leave me alone. Morning. Morning. Congratulations. You finally slept through the night. It still doesn't feel like enough. I'm still so tired. What are you doing today? I just have enough energy to go back to bed and sleep until tomorrow. Remember what we talked about last night? <sighs> I don't want to. Arasi, I cleaned Aravind's room already. I need a break. This is important. I don't want to watch Sarah. Imagine how she's feeling. She thinks you're blaming her for what happened to Aravind. And you said it yourself. You know it was an accident. Yeah, but if they didn't have that stupid idea of hanging out at the beach at night. Arasi, you need to apologize to Sarah. Fine, I'll, I'll get to it. Maybe next week or something. Today. You said you would do it. Will you please pick up your phone? I'm coming. I'm coming. Hello? Mom? It's your dad. You've landed? No, I'm still in KL. You're still in KL? He's not coming back, right? Big surprise. No, of course he is. You're coming back, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, you're coming back today, not next week or something. Yes, just on a later flight, I'll be back. <sighs> Thank goodness. Jonathan, you really need to come back home and speak to your daughter. I don't think my nerves can take another night of her moods and her temper tantrums. I'll be back, I promise. Hey, how come you're back? I just dropped Brayden off at Sentosa. Yeah, why did you stay there? At Sentosa? Yeah. Brayden's on a play date. I'm not going to wait the whole day for him. He can come home himself. You drove all the way there. You might as well stay there and relax by the beach. I wish I had the time too. I have so much work to catch up on. I'm so far behind because of Graydon's PSLE. Didn't you work late yesterday? Yeah, I'll be working late for the next two weeks to catch up. That's not good. No choice. Sarah? Sarah? Sarah! What? I just wanted to tell you, your dad is coming back. Not so early this morning, but he'll come back sometime today. That's it? That's good news, isn't it? I finally went back to sleep and you woke me up just to tell me that? What is wrong with that girl? Hi, Olivia. Everything okay at home? Yeah, why? Your shirt. <gasps> my goodness, I can't believe I made my way here dressed like this. You sure everything is okay? No, it's not okay. And it's all that Evelyn's fault. I'm never going to let her step foot into my home again. Yeah, that one is a real troublemaker. So biased. You don't even know what Auntie Evelyn did. We were having dinner and she said the most inappropriate things. She said your cooking was terrible. No, why would she say that? She said you put on too much makeup. No, what's wrong with my makeup? Then what did that troublemaker say? She actually encouraged Sarah to talk about Aravin dying. Choi! And it got worse. She even said it was okay for Sarah to say she should have died instead of Aravin. hi yo, eh, that woman should wash her mouth with soap. I was on the verge of squirting detergent into her mouth and scrubbing it out with my toilet brush. How can she say such things? But if that's what Sarah feels, she should be allowed to talk about it. 
what's wrong with you young people and always having to talk about your feelings. Huh? Some things shouldn't be discussed. Like what things? Like death, affairs, money, other people's cooking, and makeup. How would you like it if she said it to Brayden? I think it's helpful. It wasn't. It's rubbish. It didn't help Sarah at all. Today, Sarah's snapping at me again. Leave me alone. Don't speak to me. Go away. How do you tahan? Hang, I have the patience of a saint, but even I can't take it anymore. So what are you going to do? But thankfully, I won't have to put up with it any longer. My son is coming back home today. He can deal with her. Hi, Ruby. Trying to study. Nothing's going in. Coffee? And I wish I could meet you, but my dad's coming back today and I want to be here when he gets home. I think that's him. Uh, I'll call you back later. Hang on, I'm coming! What are you doing here? I messaged you and you didn't reply. You refused to pick up my calls. Sorry, I'm busy. I'm not leaving. We need to talk. No, I... I have to study. <laughs> you can't just force your way in here. I want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I haven't slept any of study. Then just listen to what I have to say. Get out. No, I'm not going until I say what I came here to say. Get out! Sarah. Get out of my house! Don't touch me! Get out! Don't push me! Get out! Hey, late already. You should go back. Late? It's not even lunchtime. Go back, go back. I still have work to do. I give you leave. Go back. What's going on? Why are you forcing me to go back? Hurry up lah. Go! I have to finish my work. Hey, your mom wants me to give you time off. Go home. If you are not back in 30 minutes, but, if not, she's going to scold me. I, but, go, 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 go. Get out of my house. I came here to apologize. I didn't want to apologize to you. I don't. I only do it because it's what I really want me to do. Ravin. Where do you think Ravin is right now? I don't know. Do you think he's watching us acting? I hope not. He'll be very disappointed. I'm sorry, Robin. Sarah, I know I've been really nasty to you. And I know it's not your fault that Aravind died. It was an accident. It was. It was an accident. I was very angry and I needed to lash out at someone. And I lashed out at you. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, Aravind. Sarah? I'm sorry, Aravind. Sarah, are you alright? Do you need to call someone? I'm sorry, Aravind. Sarah? Do you hear what I said? Just go away, Aravind. Leave me alone.
Yes, yo, I got one. Here's your kopi. Oh, it takes so long. You're roasting it yourself, is it? Hey, what are you complaining about? Fresh kopi. It's worth the wait. Wait. Oh. Hey, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anthony. I think I should head back. Worried about Sarah? She hasn't replied to any of my texts. Can I do anything to help? It's OK. You have to catch up on your work. Actually, Pa gave me the rest of the day off. That's a surprise. So if you need an extra pair of hands to help? That's very sweet. I'll manage. My son's coming home soon. You're quite amazing. Me? You can work, look after Sarah, prepare dinner, and still look nice every day. I don't know how you do it. Oh, Anthony. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Are you going to cry? I'm just so stressed. I don't know why you're lying to me, but thank you. You have no idea how much I needed to hear something nice from anyone. It really means a lot. What happened to the plumbing? It's wonky again. I don't know. It started leaking. Do you know when? I don't know. What are you doing in your room? Are you studying? Sure. Sure is a yes or no? Yeah, I'm studying. Can I go back to studying? OK. Your dad will be here anytime soon. We'll eat then, OK? Hello? I don't know what possessed me to trust you with our plumbing. Anyway, you did a lousy job and it's broken again. I need you to find a way to fix it and I want it done right now. Hi, Mum. Uh, yeah, it's the small parcel on your table, right? OK, got it. No problem. I'll see you at home. What are you doing here? Is it Arasi? Is she OK? No, she's not. She got admitted because of the beer. She could have. And it would have been all your fault. Could have? So is Arasi in the hospital or not? Luckily for you, she's not. But she's having a massive hangover thanks to you, so stay away from her. Mandy, it's really not my fault. Arasi really wanted to have a drink. Then you let her? She was angry. What if she wanted to eat 20 curry puffs? Or rob a bank? Or throw herself in front of a train? Would you have let her too? Throw herself in front of a train? Would you? Of course not. Then you shouldn't have let her drink. Mandy? M Mandy, are you alright? No, I'm not. I'm just super stressed because of Arvin and Odyssey and everything else. Can I get you anything? Yeah. You can get me a beer. A beer? No, no, no. Wait here. I'll get you some water to drink. Hey, Ma. Hey. Good, you're home. You know, at first I didn't think it was a good idea for you to tell Pa to give me time off work. But then I realised you were right. I always know what is best for you. Eh, I bought all your favourite snacks. You can relax at home, watch TV, eat ice cream. I'm home but I'm not relaxing. It is better for me to stay home and catch up on work. Fewer distractions. Thanks, Ma. It took you long enough to get here. The plumbing is driving me mad. As if I don't have enough problems to deal with. Are there leaking pipes in the kitchen that smell? It must be coming from the sewer. It's coming from here. There was a terrible smell coming from the kitchen. Oh, you're cooking. I'm not paying you a cent. And you better fix it properly this time. Of course. James is the best plumber. You have 30 minutes to fix it and go away. Oh. 
Hi, Sarah. Sarah? What do you think you're doing? Sarah looks... No thanks to you. Me? Please don't ever speak to her again. She's been in a terrible state since the last talk with you. She's like this because of what I said? I warned you, but you just blabbered on about death and whatnot. So much for your quack psychology. I'm... Please, just fix the plumbing and leave. Okay, at least let me talk to her, okay? No, and I want you to finish it before my son gets back. <sighs> Here you go. You're probably dehydrated. You need to drink some water. I'm so tempted to throw this in your face. If you make you feel better, I don't mind. Go ahead. Yeah, right. As if you really care. I do. I know it's been tough for you with everything that's happened in your family. Hey. Hi. Hello, Uncle Alex. Hi, everything all right? Yeah, just here to get mom's parcel and to buy this. Uh, I'm here to visit a friend. Okay. See you guys. Please don't tell my parents about RRC's drinking, especially Uncle Alex. Please. I won't. Promise. Wow, good life, ah. I thought you said you had a lot of work to do. How come you're home shaking legs? I came home to work, went to the toilet, and when I came out, Ma confiscated my laptop. Hmm? Why? She said I've been working too much. She'll only give it back after I've rested enough. Have you rested enough? I said I have, but she doesn't think so. God, be a man and take back your laptop. I don't want to hurt her feelings. I know she's just concerned about me, but... Everywhere I go, she's there. Oh, like a shadow? Oh, at work, at home. I just want my own thing. Eh, hey, I want to do something that she doesn't have a say in. Like, love me? <laughs> Not that dramatic. Mm, how about a hobby? Mm, find something that Ma knows nothing about, then she can't give you her two cents worth. Sounds good. Sarah? Sarah? Hi. I'm sorry. For what? Your grandma said you've been upset ever since we last had dinner. I'm sorry if I made you feel worse. It's not you. Then what is it? Arasi came over today. Was she mean to you like the other day? No, she wanted to apologize, but we got into a fight. I don't even know how it started. Are you hurt? No, I... I don't want to tell Grandma. She'll kick up a fuss and accuse Arasi of all sorts of things. Of course you don't want that. Both you and Arasi are in so much pain right now. There's no need for more trouble. Yeah. I'm just so tired of everything. I know my grandma would insist Arasi was wrong, but she isn't. There's no right or wrong winner or loser in situations like this. Both of you are suffering. If anyone is hurting more than me, it's Arasi. I know it. I'm just so, so tired of everything. Of being sad. Sarah, right now it seems like the sadness will never leave no matter what happens. Why ever stop feeling sad? You will always miss Aravin. The sadness will always be there. But over time, you will learn to live with it. Thank you. You had a fight? Yeah.
Maybe it's good, in a way. You both got some of that anger out of your system. You know, sometimes you just need to... I wanted to make things better with Sarah. But I made it worse. You did tell her you were sorry, right? I don't know if she hurt me. Wasn't she, like, right in front of you? Yeah. Physically, she was right there. But it was like her mind was somewhere else. She didn't hear a thing I said. I think there's something seriously wrong with Sarah. You're sure it's fixed? Definitely. If there's any problem, we've got Jim's number. I really hope I don't have to call him. Enjoy your dinner. Jonathan, why are you blocking the way? Don't you have some other plumbing job to do? Jonathan, come in. Jonathan? Stop, you silly thing. He won't be so stressed about his work. He won't have to deal with Mum calling him for every little thing. I don't blame her. She's completely dependent on him. And who wouldn't be? He's such a wonderful husband and father. So how can I just take him away from Max? I'm like the crappiest daughter in the world. You stop that negative talk right now. The most important place for your father to be is here with you. All right? I'm not hungry.